instructions for connecting and using the StreamVision app control, image transfer, and device software updates. 1. Connection to a mobile device. 2. Device settings. 3. Check for device software updates. 4. Application settings. 5. Viewfinder mode. 6. Working with a file manager. 7. General recommendations for streaming. 8. Setting up a YouTube channel. 9. Basic YouTube setup for streaming. 10. Streaming. Connecting to a mobile device. Warning! The StreamVision app requires Android 4.4 and above. Install the free StreamVision app from Google Play on your mobile device. To connect the device to a smartphone or tablet, use one of the two suggested ways. First, using the StreamVision application interface, press the button, connect the device, then turn on Wi-Fi and watch the detected Wi-Fi devices. To connect, select its name in the networks list. Enter the password, which you can find in the menu of your device. The default password is 12345. Second, using the settings of the mobile device. Turn on Wi-Fi. Go to the settings and watch the detected Wi-Fi devices. Then, to connect to the device, select its name in the list of networks. Enter the password, which you can find in the menu of your device. The default password is 12345. Device Settings The modes and settings displayed in the app vary according to the model of the device being connected to the mobile equipment. To set up a particular device, you must open the app, then select the My Devices icon followed by the Device Settings button. In this menu are date and time setup and internal memory formatting. You can delete the device from the application only when the application is not connected to the device. Check for device software updates. Up-to-date firmware is required to make maximum use of the device's functionality. To do this, Press the Check for Updates button. The mobile device must be connected to the Internet. Application Settings To enter Application Settings, select the Settings icon. In this menu, the application language can be changed, version number displayed, the image being viewed flipped 180 degrees, and night vision mode activated, which enables the screen to be dimmed so as not to reveal oneself during observation. Night vision mode also reduces eye strain. Viewfinder mode. Viewfinder mode should be used to see any object being observed. The app makes it possible to work with various device settings, brightness of display, image magnification, The strength of infrared illumination can be regulated and streaming photo and video selected as operating mode. Photos and videos are retained in the device's memory by default. Where it is necessary to save footage directly to the mobile device, the record to phone function should be used. Working with the file manager. Select the files icon from the sidebar to work with the file manager. Here, file shot may be viewed. They can be sorted into photo and video. They can be downloaded from the optical device to the mobile device. Those that are no longer required can be deleted. General recommendations for streaming. One, create and set up your own YouTube channel in advance. This can be done from any personal computer or mobile device. Two, when streaming, your mobile device should be connected to a 3G network or higher. Three, your optical device and mobile device should have a fully charged battery or power bank. Setting up a YouTube channel. To set up your YouTube channel, you must first create a Google account. To do this, go to www.youtube.com and press the Enter button in the right-hand corner. In the sign-in window that appears, press More Options and Create Account. Fill in the standard questionnaire with all the data required for setting up a new profile. You may use your own email in this questionnaire. You're not required to set up a new gmail.com address. Press next to confirm your agreement. To set up the YouTube channel, go back to www.youtube.com and press the My Channel tab in the left-hand column. There are several options for naming the channel. 
If this is to be a personal channel, you may leave your first name and surname. You may give your channel the project name, then press Create Channel. Basic YouTube Setup for Streaming Streaming needs to be set up so that it functions correctly with the channel. This is done by opening Video Manager and pressing Live Streaming. Then follow the YouTube prompt, Get Started, select the country, and then the method of delivery of the verification code, e.g. by SMS. Type in your mobile number and then enter the six-digit code received by SMS. Basic setup has been completed and the channel is now ready for streaming. If more detailed setup is required, follow the recommendations and prompts offered by YouTube. If the streaming is to be shown only to a small group of people, you should activate the privacy settings. Streaming. To stream an image to the internet, you should turn on the stream function. This function may also be toggled to viewfinder by pressing the modes icon during observation. Alternatively, select stream from the drop-down menu. Agree to your internet traffic being used by live streaming by pressing I understand. Press get started. Press verify connection. We are waiting for the end of the process of setting the parameters of the portable hotspot. After a successful connection, press continue. Enter the Google account details to connect with YouTube and press continue. Then write a message to your friends and press share with friends. Choose the route, SMS, email, messenger, or social networks. Then press begin streaming. If during streaming you need to share a link, press options and then share.